Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session, we will learn how to handle come exception, ATL come exception, how to throw exception, how to catch exception. Okay, from file menu, I will create a window, a project type solution. I will create ATL exception. Exception solution. This is blank. I created a blank solution. Then I will create in the solution explorer. I will add new project Win32 Win32 console console application ATL client exception exception client app click ok next i will i will uncheck and select security development development life cycle then finish Then I will add one more so in the solution explorer. Right click, add new project here. ATL, ATL, project name ATL exception server. Click next DLL. I will. I will unselect, then finish. Then cl class class view, click class view. Here, exception, ATL exception server. Right click it. Add class. ATL simple object. Add here calculator. Here, ATL exception server. Calcu calculator like this then next next here I will select support error info we have to select this one then finish okay I save all and I will close all document Save all. Then I will go to Solution Explorer again. Here, I will go. I will select the solution. Then properties. Then I will set project dependencies. You have to select ATL exception client app exception server. Okay. Then right click it properties linker general all configuration all configuration per user redirection yes apply then build here post build event here right click it Copy. We have to see this. This dollar project dir. Then it will be expanded like this. Then dollar int dir. Then project name. Then tlb. Tlb means type library. 
then space dollar target dl then target dl will, will be expanded like this then project name tlb like this like this then okay you should select all configuration or platform apply okay then uh, here we have to make one more settings right click properties you have to select this one then C++ general here edit click it then target DAR like this and you can click OK then apply OK so the next thing we should do is OK then go to class view again here click it I calculator click it right click it add method add long x once again long y and select select long pointer then I'll return value I'll LT then click next here add X and Y like this finish then it will be added save it I will add one one more one more the same till it will be TIB here long X long y and long pointer yeah rlt then next here divide x by y finish okay save all then click c calculator here click add we will add here, we will flash RLT X plus Y like this here uh, if Y equals 0 then E error divide Zero. This is our message exception. We are throwing exception. Come exception. Then return value. Is we should return e fail. Okay. Else, then rlt equal x divide y okay then we we completed this alt exception server we will build it build we should build okay so now we we go to to exception client app from solution clock select select std afx click click this then we will add include uh, io stream like this then save it and if we if we modify std afx this is uh, 
this file, if we modify include here, then we have to compile this stdafx file. We have to compile it. Compile it, okay? We have to compile it. Compile successful. Then double click it here. We can now import. Import ATL exception server TLB. Right? No name no namespace named GUID DS. Then after this is squiggled, right? Then we can compile it again. We we can compile it. Control F7. Control F7 compiled, then the skill goes. Then here we are going to CO initialize initialize null CO un uninitialize then between here you can do like this. Well, we can simply okay. Let's do it like this. Then uh, try. Then catch. Here we are going to use underscore com error e. Then calibrate again here. Actually, I don't think we need it. So you can close it like this. You don't need it. Like this, okay. Here, uh, I calculator PTR P cal. We can do like this. Uh, no, we'll do. We will do different this time. P cal create instance CLS ID class ID We should have a cal, right? But in this case we will compile it. Compile it once again. Okay. Then P cal, P cal create instance CLS ID calculator. Then uh, STD out one plus two. Equals uh, p cal add to std and there we will do one more std shout uh, a divide two equals p cal now we will use divide a divide to std and there now one more we will generate exceptions uh, a divide by zero it should give exception p cal divide 8 0 std and there okay done so we are catching catch come exception exception here uh, std yeah E description std and there here and that's it. 
So we are learning this. We will learn save and run. Control F five. Okay. This is what working and this code is exception exception thrown and it is caught here. I will make it smaller. So exception actually is when th this is this argument is zero it is actually uh server. It is actually this message is actually returned or thrown. Error is C come exception is thrown and it is caught. Caught in the client like this. Like this. That's it. Thank you very much.